Hello everyone, Triple here, and welcome back to another Shodan Live. Um, I've been taking some time to get more into the meta, um, and I have this team that's like mostly meta stuff, um, but it has some like niche things in there. Um, starting off with Skeledurge. Skeledurge is a very interesting unaware mon because it really benefits of their types. Um, and I have a very unique set here with Curse. Um, the the standard uh, things are Torch Song, Slag Off, which are very nice. Uh, Torch Song always gives you a Spatak buff, and then Slag Off is nice for some recovery. Um, Unaware is huge. It have, has heavy duty boots because Glimmer is everywhere right now. Um, Unaware is nice, but it has Curse, which has two uses. Uh, as you know, when you curse with a ghost type, it takes half your HP and puts a curse on your opponent. You could use that to like get rid of a setup mon, uh, and with slack off, I get to get that health back also. And beyond that, if I terrestrialize, I am very terror type because it's a good defensive type, um, so I chose it. Um, but if I Terra type, then I um, can curse up and get a defense buff from it, which very interesting because this doesn't. I don't think this has any other way of really buffing its own defense, which luckily it doesn't. But this gives it one. Um, being able to buff your defense, your speed doesn't really matter, this is a slow mon anyway. Um, but your defense doesn't really matter. Uh, well, sorry, the attack doesn't really matter, but the defense is pretty huge. Uh, I went with a spadef set, um, so that I can eat both physical and special hits. And then I have Terror Blast as a last, because it's gonna be a fairy type move, which is very good when boosted by um, Torch Song. I could also go with Seed Bomb um, because it hits the water types and ground types coming in. But I decided just going with this is better because this Pokemon often wants to terrestrialize. I have the combination of Clodsire and Corviknight, which is very bulky. Um, Clodsire is, Bedef, is a huge Pedef wall um, with Water Absorb, uh, Recover, Earthquake. Um, I kind of need Water Absorb because I have a Fire Type, I have a Ground Type, I have no real resist. I have Quirk Quavel, but I like Water Absorb here. With Toxic, Spikes, Earthquake and Recover, you could also run an Aware on this, which is also very good. Um, and then Cover Knight with um, Rocky Helmet, Defog, U-Turn, Roost and Body Press, which that's a pretty, like, it's a standard set, it's max defense. It's gonna do a lot of damage. It can come in on stuff like Tian Pao and uh, Backscalibur and Titan and um, a lot of the other, like, the, I think Ting something, Ting Lu or something. The, the ground dark Pokemon can't really hit this well. So, this is a very good Pokemon to have. U turn is very nice because it often gets in Golden Go, which I can then use to U turn. To my Great Tusk, who I had choice banned actually, but I decided to go with Booster Energy purely for one reason. This way I can lead it and once we want Glamora because I Earthquake it and then I Rapid Spin the hazards they put up away and I kill them with that. So that's my way of counting that. I have Rapid Spin on this and Defog on Corviknight so I can get rid of hazards if I play right. And the thing is... Like, um, Golden Go is like the main, like, hazard denial denial, uh, because it can't get hit with status moves. But it's scary for it to come in on Great Tusk, because if I Earthquake, it just dies. So, yeah, that makes this a very solid uh, hazard remover. I have Iron Valiant here, which is my late game sweeper, who has um, the booster energy. With Calm Mind, Store Power, Aura Sphere, Moonblast. Uh, I went with this set because um, it does have a lot of coverage, but I I figured like um, Aura Sphere hits most things I'm weak against. 
I hit hit steel types, which is a problem for me. And then I have um, stored power to get take care of fairy types and poison types. Uh, if I can get a calm mind off on like a defensive Pokemon, like a Corviknight or something, then I will be in a very, very good position to just click buttons. And also late game, just this insane Spatex that allows me to um, open up teams pretty well. So that's really nice. And then last I have Quaquavel, who is here with the choice scarf set. I have Aqua Step, Ice Spinner, Close Combat, U-Turn. Um, late game, very hard to come in on. Aqua Step both is a, like a decently strong move. It buffs my speed, so eventually nothing will outspeed me. This outspeeds a lot of Pokemon in the, in the tier anyway, and Close Combat and Aqua Step do a lot of damage because... Yeah. Uh, and then I have the Moxie, which is gonna allow me to sweep, hopefully. It's a very interesting team, like it, it's half defensive, half offensive. And I think it's gonna do pretty well, so let's hop on the ladder and see how it goes. The, the Golden Go is gonna be a bit of a problem, Chan Power. I do outspeed with Quaquavel. Quaquavel in general is really good here with close combat. Yeah, he does go this. But that's fine. Hold up, I'm gonna Toxic here. Because I feel like he goes Ting Lu here. That's even better. I'm gonna Toxic here. Because he's gonna switch. Exactly, that's a good bit of chip, and Do I, I think I go Corviknight. Uh-huh, that's good. I roost on you. Having the Toxic here on Chen Pao and the other is really nice. Nice, we got rid of each other's hazards and I'm faster now. So yeah. That puts him in kind of a bad position. He kinda needs to go either Rotom or Iron Valiant. Rotom I will always have Cloud Sire for, especially since it also absorbs the T-spikes. I do outspeed you, so you have to ice shard here. Oh, never mind. You just let this go down, I guess. I save this, I'm pretty sure. Whatever he brings in here, I save this because it beats Golden Go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I can just go Clotsai here. Clotsai nowadays often runs special. And that's gonna do no damage at all to me. I mean, I can just go ahead and put up my spikes here. Do you have defog on this? Because the way I see it, you're just taking a lot of damage here. I mean, hi. I rapid spin here to get rid of these. It does suck that we don't have it for that, but should be okay. My own Iron Valiant is looking pretty good. Uh, Claude Sire kind of beats everything he goes for. So 
smart, but also he has a black sh a sludge now. Also, he had a scarf. He doesn't have a scarf anymore. He's gonna start taking damage now. Um, everything but his Valiant is toxic. I think I go Cover Knight here. Uh, Roost. I save Glotsire to Toxic the uh, Iron Valiant. Yeah, I keep this healthy. Black Sludge kills it. I have a Toxic on the Rotom. I mean, yeah, this is just a free switch in at this point. I'm gonna click Toxic here on a potential switch. He has to switch eventually is the thing. He has nothing to hit me with because he's lost his full switch. And oh, what? I zoomed in. And the Toxic is gonna build up on him. Yeah, and he, he doesn't have enough health to outstall my Toxics. So now Iron Valium comes in, I get to Toxic it. And yeah, I have the Toxic, so now I can just stall it out. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, Glimoran plus Mouse Hold plus... Okay. Uh, we lead Great Dust because it leads... Well, versus every... Okay. Well, versus everything except Breloom. And if he leads Glimora, I Earthquake into Rapid Spin. He has no Spin Blocker except Golden Go. And he does lead this, which I can just... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hello. Do you think I care? I... Whoa! Wait, you weren't... Oh! Interesting. I don't know what this is gonna do to me. I'm gonna rabbit spin. Great. An ice spinner could potentially KO you. That's actually good for me. I think. Uh huh. I can potentially close combat here unless he is Scarf himself. Yeah, and that prevents him from getting a Shattail up here. Yeah, okay. He did have Golden Goat to go into here because he knows I'm Scarf now, but he was looking very bad. I, I prevented Hazards and I prevented his uh, setup potential. So. Monograss! Uh, kind of loses to my skeleton. Oh, can you stop that? Loses to my Skeledorge. Uh, I'm gonna lead Great Tusk. And hope he spores here. Nope, he just lets me get him to his Sash, I guess. And he mech punches, which is smart. However, I just kill you here. I hope he goes Among Us on me. If he's smart, he goes Bramblegast. But otherwise, Among Us would be great for me because that allows me to get a book mind. As long as he doesn't like spore me or anything. He didn't. So now I get to store power here. Which isn't insane, but it should do a decent chunk of damage. Yeah. Y you don't know the amount of trouble you're in if I wake up here. Also, he's gonna set up with this, but it doesn't matter because Skeledurge. Hello. Okay. Well, in that case, if he's gonna sleep powder me, I'm just gonna bring him out and not care. 
I am spadef, so he can't really do anything to me. Very cool, but it doesn't matter that you did that. You're gonna terror blast me and do like 17. 25, I'm sorry. My bad. He's gonna try to dark move me. I'm not gonna let him. Yep. Esparza. Oh, that is cool. Also, he has... Okay, Revival Dance is something I should probably talk about. It has been re released now. Uh, makes it kind of scary. Quakrival is a good lead. Uh, Quakrival is an awful lead. Hello. I'm gonna ice spinner here. You don't really have a switch in. I am. Why? Oh, he was slow, bulky, um, suicide hazard, wasn't he? As part of this, come in. I will not. Yeah, it's it's gonna protect. It's gonna try to outspeed me. Whoa. No wealth, actually. Huh? He doesn't gleam me. He's getting speed buffs, which is cool, but again, I am spadef. Ah, uh -huh, he's gonna switch probably to Gyarados. If I were to guess. Or Palmot, I guess. Oh yeah, wait, Torch Song goes through that. Cool. He brought back his guard jump. And uh, I'm just gonna ignore anything he does. Golden. Ooh, he's balloon on that. Okay. Very cool. I'm not gonna let you do that though. He's gonna go, um, Gyarados here. Oh, never mind. Try to taunt me, which means no more shed tail, which is huge. But again, I do have cold sire. Cold sire does not really care about anything you do. Twig me, I dare you. I get another layer of spikes, and I could toxic the Gyarados, and the Gyarados can't really hurt me much. So yeah. Ooh, okay. I like the steam. Slitherwing and Sandy Socks. This is a really cool team. I'm gonna lead Korf because it leads well that versus everything that's not Sandy Socks, basically. Yeah, exactly. And if he leads this, that's just a free U turn for me. Because he can't really touch me. He U turns himself, takes more damage than he did to me. And I get to U turn out on him, which means I get to switch priority here. And uh, what does he have against fire? Nothing really. He has the, the, the slow king, yes. Hold up.
I'm gonna put up some spikes here. I'm gonna toxic this slow king because it's the one thing stopping my skeleturge. I'm gonna go Corviknight. Oh, well... Hmm. <laughs> he defogged the spikes, which is fine. I got the Toxic on the Slow King, which was the big thing. Being able to not have to deal with that for... Um, I do, again, I do have Cloud Sire. Oh. I rate that, that's cool. Uh, having this Toxic is really nice. I don't think you knock me out. Even with plus two. Oh, he's going for game. I get it. I'm U-turning here. And then I'm killing him. Yeah. That's fine. Give me that. Slitherwing could be scary now, uh, although it's likely Scarf, which means my Scarfer would outspeed. Yeah, but also no. Okay, uh... I think I need to chip this down and then bring in my Skeledurge. Um, surprisingly enough, Iron Villain seems like the weakest link. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna move less there, honestly. My special attack, no! I'm commanding here, maybe I live the future site. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. However, a uh, torch song, and I have a toxic sloking now. And give me another one of those, because why not? And get me another buff, because why not? Bring in the, the Toxic Slow King. That's taking spikes damage. I'm just gonna hit you, honestly. And I'm gonna slack off here. And I'm gonna Torch Song again, because it will kill you from this point, and it will put me at plus three, meaning he has to go Golden Go. Which I always have Cloud Sire for. I always have Cloud Sire for this. I'm gonna recover, because that was a crit, which means this one is gonna do like 27. I can recover this off, I don't have to worry about it. Nice Earthquake, I'm gonna torch... Actually, I'm gonna slack off, because that is the smart play. I'm gonna torch song. Aha, uh -huh, great. Uh, 
And we do always have Clotsire for this. Oh, he has Recover. I didn't even know this mod got Recover. Honestly, I'm gonna put up a second layer of spikes because it's extra chip against Sandy Shocks, Golden Go, extra chip. It's just nice overall. T-Wave make it rain with Koffer. Smart. He has to defog now. Which means I get in another Torch Song. Yep, Torch Song here. He has a speed buff on that, 331, 295, okay. Great Tusk. Uh-huh. And now we Earthquake, I guess. Actually, do we CC? We might CC here. Yeah, okay. Getting rid of that is huge. He basically has no way to break Skeledurge plus Clothfire. I mean, I'm surprised you didn't just expect me to do this. I can Torch Song here again. I always have Cloth Sire for this, but I'm gonna risk it. Because yeah, that puts you in a bad position. And now I'm gonna go Quick Quavel. Because you... Make it rain here to hit me. And I aqua step to kill you. Ooh, okay. I get the torch song here, which he has to switch out and give me one of his Pokemon for. Yep, who are you giving me? Slitherwing or Golden Go? I think it's gonna be Slitherwing. Probably. Which is surprising because Golden Go literally can't touch Clotsire. Surprised you lift that, honestly. I am gonna select off here. Hello. I got back to full and now you lose it for real. So. We didn't even really go anywhere. <laughs> okay, he gave me Corviknight. I'm pretty sure that's GG now to Aqua Step. So I'm just gonna keep clicking Torch Song here. So that he doesn't get to recover up. And now I uh, Aqua Step into Aqua Step. Aqua Step 1. I get a Moxie boost, I get a Speed boost, I get a D-Dance, basically, and I Aqua Step 2. Nice. I think this was Choice Ban. But yeah, that we played that end game pretty well there. Ooh, okay, I really like this team. Uh, Corviknight seems like a good lead against everything that's not the fire types. Yeah, Meowskarada was likely to come in here. And I get to U-turn now on, on whatever they want to bring in exactly. I'm gonna bring in Quick Quavel and I'm gonna U-turn. He, he does seem to be Water Absorb Cloth Sire, which is great. Do you have a switch into this? That's not Salamence. Is Salamence your only Earthquake switch in? I'm gonna go for game, <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh-huh. I'm going for game.
I don't even know what Terra type I am on this, but I honestly, uh, Terra Ground. Actually, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, Roaring Moon. He has Protosynthesis with the Sun. He has the Dodonzo, which is annoying. Goldsire is very good. Uh, quick Quavel. Great Dusk, honestly. Lead 12 versus basically everything. Like, especially if he wants to lead the, um... The, um... Torko can, can I stop doing that? Do I Earthquake here? I mean, honestly, yeah. What does he have for Earthquake? He resists Earthquake, but then again, I have Ice Spinner. Go Cloud Sire. Click Toxic on something because he has no resists. Interesting. Defense on that. <laughs> cool. Thank you for the damage increase. He is slow and bulky though. Do I just Terra Torch Song here? Yeah, I, I, okay, I made the right play. I have Clothesire healthy for the GU. And a Torkoal, Roaring Moon, I have Iron Valiant for Iron Valiant in general is very good here. Quick Quavel also looking surprisingly good. Honestly, that did good damage. I'm gonna flag off there. 47 on a Mon that doesn't really have any way of recovering. <coughs> Fairy Blast there. Okay, I'm gonna Aqua Step you. Nice. Bring in Corviknight and U-turn for free. He has to switch because a U-turn would kill him. Okay, or he doesn't, I guess. I'm gonna go Great Tusk because that forces him to... Oh, hey, well, thank you. To go one of his, like, attackers, not Torkoal. Likely means he goes Dodonzo. Dondozo. Roaring Moon, I just need to prevent from setting up, so I... Uh, he has an attack buff, surprisingly enough. I'm gonna Ice Spinner here, just to prevent the D-Dance. Why am I faster? I have questions.
crate. I have the um, Cloth Sire for the rest of the team, basically. Oh, I mean, sure. As long as you don't clear smoke this turn. Yeah, I get to store power here. Damn, you actually kill? What the heck? I mean, what I'm, what I can do here is click CC because Torkoal dies, Chiyu dies, and Dodonzo dies. CC you damn I can just switch between Corviknight and Coldsire here I U-turn here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go Coquavel because of this, yes. If he Scarf, he might kill me. Otherwise, I definitely, if he Specs, I definitely, yeah, I kill him here. The Dozo is toxic. I will just CC here because it is still, even if the, it's unaware, it's still a strong hit. And yeah, it kills her. Yeah, he forfeits, okay. This, uh, it's a fun team to use. It, it's a bit troublesome against a few Pokemon, and I gotta watch out for, like, um, Golden Go once I Terra my um, Skeledurge. But it's really fun to use, and, like, well-balanced, honestly. For my teams, this is good balancing. And having that um, Scarf Quaquavo in the back is always really fun. Because people don't seem to expect it because of Aqua Step. Because usually when you run Aqua Step, you don't want like you don't want to um, scarf it because you're getting a speed boost anyway, etc., etc. So having the scarf on this is really solid, and it can really like punch uh, some holes through teams, which makes it really good. But yeah, uh, with that, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.